Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today is a bit of a different video. I've never done one of these before, but I'm going to be doing a pack with me for my holidays because tomorrow for me, I go away to, well, we're going to Eastbourne for one day, just purely because it was cheaper than paying out for the Saturday night in Brighton. And then we're going to Brighton until Wednesday. Tomorrow's Saturday, by the way. Um, <laughs> And then we're going to Brighton until Wednesday. So Sunday to Wednesday. And then Wednesday we're going to London until Friday. So Eastbourne we're purely just going there because it's a cheaper night, night to stay in a hotel. Um, Brighton we're going to have a little mini holiday. Hopefully meet up with Tom from Lena Blue like always. Um, and then on the Wednesday we go down to London so we can see Kovic finally perform after Covid. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. It doesn't feel like it's actually happening. Um, but I'm one of them people that have a very late packer. My sister's already packed. It's four o'clock, 4 p.m. the day before I'm going. This is actually quite good for me because I'm normally like a last minute packer. I've I literally gone to get a flight and I've packed that day of the flight. It's so bad. But I'm packing today and I thought I'd make a video out of it because I quite enjoy watching these videos so I thought I would make a video too and see how it goes. I mean I might not even post this but if you see this then hey I've liked how it's turned out and yeah so let's get into it. I've got piles of like clothes that I'm going to take but I forgot to bring the suitcase in so I'm going to go and grab that now so be right back. This is my suitcase it's an it suitcase so it's super light. And it's from Primark, I got it a while ago. It's just got some flowers on it and it's navy. And yeah, it's the only suitcase I have apart from one that's like small. <laughs> actually, I think I got rid of that. I might not, I actually be the only suitcase I have. So, the only problem with staying in England is you don't know what the weather's gonna be like. So I never know whether to pack like sunny or not sunny, but I've got a mixture, which is annoying because then that means you've got to pack more than what you need. But I'd rather pack more than what I need and have what I need than run out of stuff. Or maybe pack winter stuff and it's actually really sunny and then I have to go buy something. But yeah, so I'd rather just pack a mixture. So that is what we're gonna do. I have piles all laid out. I've not got my shoes, so I need to go in grab my shoes. I'm not going anywhere else today. So yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab my shoes. So I'm only really gonna take two pairs of shoes. I, w I live in trainers, so trainers are always gonna be the one. So I'm gonna take these white feelers and my white Nike Air Forces. And I think I'm gonna wear my feelers tomorrow for the tra travel. Um, I say the tra I'm driving, so yeah. Um, so I'm gonna wear the feelers to drive in down and then the night air forces are going to go in the case purely because i don't want these wrecked because these are going to be my gig outfit shoes when i say gig outfit shoes i've got like five different ideas for a gig outfit so i'm taking them all because i don't know what to wear <laughs> but yeah so they're going to go in i'm going to put them to one side i know what i've not got um right I'm going to travel in leggings and a jumper, I think, tomorrow. Um, right. I actually hate packing, so this is actually... Oh, stressful. I actually hate it. That's why I leave it so late. And then it just makes it more stressful for me, so I don't know why I do it. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to pack trousers first. So, these are a travel set. Because I'm doing... I travel to Eastbourne, then I travel to Brighton, and then I travel to London, and then back. Oh, I might not have enough travel. Oh, I'll just have to rewear one, it's just gonna have to do. Anyways, so I might roll them actually to fit them like here. I mean, like the key I know is to roll them. Do you know what? It really doesn't feel like I'm going on holiday. It doesn't feel like I'm seeing the COVID boys. It doesn't feel like I'm going to Brighton. It doesn't feel like I'm seeing Tom from Luna Blue. 
it just basically doesn't feel like I'm going on holiday. Like, I don't know, I think so many times, like, things that we've planned have been cancelled, it doesn't actually feel real. I've got a lot of pair of jeans. This is going to be one gig outfit jean. I've, I also, if they've just come straight out from being dried, I've not ironed them because they're going to get creased in the case anyway, so I'll just iron them <laughs> at the, one of the hotels. I don't know if that's going to take up too much room. Actually, I'm going to lay it flat. I wish I was one of them people that were really good at packing and they knew like how to do it very efficiently. This is another gig outfit pair of jeans. These are just some casual jeans that I can wear during the day if I wanted to. Some skinny. And so are these. Um, and then I've got some cycle shorts, cycling shorts because I really love wearing cycling shorts when it's nice and warm. Do I put some denim shorts in? I might have to just to be on the safe side. It already looks really full and I've only put my, my shoes and trousers in. Um, right, I'm gonna go and get my denim shorts because I regret it if I want them. Got my denim shorts. It looks so full already. Uh, right. I'll do t-shirts next. I've got a lot of t-shirts too. And I'm gonna roll these. Like this one needs ironing anyway. But I'm gonna roll them. Okay, it might actually work out this. Um, right, so anybody else going on holiday? If so, where you off to or if you've been already? I know this is like a September holiday, um, but it always happens that we go in September because it's a lot cheaper than if we was to go in the school holidays when all these kids are off school. So we always have a September holiday. I am excited though. Like I'm excited, but like it doesn't feel real. I've said this so many times to my sister. And like we went to fill the car up today and get a load of snacks. And like she was dead excited and I was like, it doesn't feel like it's happening. Like, I don't know, it's just weird. I think it's because we've not been on holiday for so long. I mean, we went Brighton last year. But like, we're supposed to be going to um, Germany. Oh, I'm speaking of Delta, my sister's just texted me. We're supposed to go in Germany. Um, I'm being dead careful because this one's ironed. And it got cancelled. So I think that's why it doesn't feel real. So I've been off like all this week. And it doesn't even feel like, it feels like more than a week because me and my sister have done so much. As you've probably seen in the other vlogs that I've done. Um, and it feels like I've been off work for ages, but I've not even been off a week yet. It'd be like a week at the end of tomorrow. <laughs> And it feels like I've been off for like three weeks already. It's so funny. You can tell the ones that I like iron because it's taken me forever to fold it because I'm doing it so neatly. I've got like a mixture of like long sleeve, short sleeve, crop tops, not crop tops. <laughs> this is like the problems of going on holiday in England. Guys, the weather's just unpredictable let's put it that way and plus because we're going to Brighton as well like the whole like like what am I trying to say oh like it's near the sea so it's going to be a lot like windier so you also have to take that into consideration I mean sometimes we've been there when it's been extremely hot like there was one time actually that I actually burned really bad there <laughs> and then because I have a backpack on it rubbed my sunburn and um, I got a massive blister which wasn't very nice on my shoulder like here like this is how big it was like no exaggeration and yeah so this is one of the tops that I might be wearing for the gig it's kind of like this and it ties at the back just because we might be going to the after party after it um, 
and I was going to wear it with like one of the jeans, one pair of them jeans that I've shown you before on my Nike Air Forces. This is another one. It's kind of a bralette and I've not worn it. <laughs> I've still got the tag on it, but it's kind of like, yeah, it like, it's a bralette. It's got lace at the bottom. It's lazy all over, but it's got like a cover up, you know, in like your breast area and then it's lacy at the back and yeah. I've not worn it yet, so that'd be nice with a pair of jeans. This is another gig outfit. Which I quite like. And then I'm sure, yeah, I've got one more top. That could potentially be a gig outfit, which is this one. It's kind of like a bardo top. And I think that's quite cute. Too. So I don't know what I'm going to wear, but we'll see on the day. Because like I said, I'm going to be vlogging it. Oh my God. My pocket looks, looks like I've packed so much and I haven't even got the hoodies in yet. I'm honestly, I always end up overpacking. Oh my God, I got locked out of my flat yesterday. So like the communal door area would not let me in. The code was right. They hadn't changed the code without telling us. We had, I was locked out for like two hours until somebody came and rescued me and let me in. <laughs> so that was adventurous. My sister was with me, my mum and dad were with me. We was out, we, mum and dad came up to spend like the day with us and they went to come back to mine with my sister. And we got locked out for two hours. It's a good job it wasn't like on a night out and they couldn't get back in because I would not know what to do. I would have just knocked on my sister's house and been like, Tracy, help, let me in. Well, yeah. I'm just rambling on. Like, right, this is all the tops. I've got to try and get hoodies in now. I'm upset to my sister. I think I've overpacked. I've still got to fit hoodies in. Right, we can do this. I'll do the hoodies last. I think I've got three or four hoodies. Underwear can go into this bit. She's just said she thinks she has to. I've not got enough socks. I need some more socks. I've got enough. I know for a fact I've got enough knickers because I counted them all before. Right, I need some more socks. And I also need like a shampoo, conditioner and all that. So be right back and I'm just gonna go and grab that. I don't like this new update on the iPhone by the way. Right, I'm gonna go and grab, oh, pajamas. <laughs> I nearly forgot my pajamas, that would have been bad. Pajamas. Pajamas can go in my underwear a bit. Do I really need four hoodies and a zip up jacket? That is the question. Do I really need all the tops that I put in? That is also a question. I'll be right back. I've got more socks. Right, I'm gonna use this to go back as soon as it's here. You probably can see my um my dinner bowl over there, just not salty. Right. Um right, we have shampoo and conditioner, body scrub, um oh I know what I need. Leg cream, hair removal cream. That can all go in there. Then we have contact lens solution, contact lens case, because I'll probably forget to put it in in the morning. This is to get the hairs off my legs. I don't know why he's called it, it's on TikTok. I have makeup and hair bubbles in there. My hairbrush is going to go in in the morning. Then we're going to put hair dryer and hair straighteners in, because trust me, I will not need to straighten it tomorrow morning. Right. Now I've got, to, I think that's everything. Ah. Just need to fit the hoodies in now. I literally just need to fit my hoodies in. Right, I can do this, I can do it. I will take everything I want to take. It's just gonna be a heavy suitcase, I think. I'm gonna be str strategic about this. Sister's laughing at me. 
Right, hoodie number one. I've just noticed everything I've pretty much put in my suitcase, apart from a few, few t-shirts, are all black or white. It's not my fault, it just got with everything. Oh, I don't know how to do this. I might have to put some in the other side as well. I don't think it's gonna do it. We'll see. It looks like a proper pile. Oh my God. It's okay, we got this. It'll go, it will close. Cause if I close it now, even though I'm gonna go in it in the morning, at least it's flattened it ready. All right, this is the big question now. Oh my God. It would help if I zip that compartment up. An actual idiot. Oh my god. Oh dear. I don't even know if you can see me doing this. Let's see. No, oh, we can do it. We can do it. Hooray. Right, we got this. I got this. I can get this short. 100% short. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We did it. Hooray. Woohoo. Oh, yes. Right. Suitcase is done. Now we do to do the snack bag and my rucksack. Yes, we have a snack bag. <laughs> so let's get the supplies. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna do the snack bag. This is the rucksack that I'm using for my own stuff. And this is gonna be the snack bag. So I'll show you what we've got. Um, do I put the drinks in the bag? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the drinks in the bag. So we've got water. So we've just got six bottles of water that we can easily refill if we wanted to. Um, so this will go in the bag. If it takes up too much room, I'm gonna take it back out. We also have a big, massive variety pack of crisps, which obviously aren't gonna fit in the bag. So we've got dairy milk, party rings, one for, one for us and one for Tom, because it's a tradition that we give him Tom. And it's like Linga Blue whenever we see them. So I should have put put Tracy's breakfast in first because it's going to be down at the bottom. Tracy's got porridge, which I don't want, but it's her doing. Does she really need five? We've got breakfast for some of the nights. Oh well. I'll still put them in just in case she's hungry. Uh, right, then we're going to put party rings in. Um, these are going to go on top which are my breakfast I only really need two but might be hungry one morning then we've got polo mints I'm going to keep them near the top mm, no actually I should go outside I've got sherbet lemons I literally got the sherbet lemons because it literally just reminds me of when I went on holiday when we were little and my mum and dad used to get strawberry lemon strawberry lemons Sherbet lemons, why have I calling them strawberry lemons this whole time? Sherbet lemons. And then my sister got licorice all sorts, which I actually hate. <laughs> um, and yeah. And then we've also got two drinks to take that are in the fridge ready for tomorrow for the journey. So that is literally the snack bag. It's actually quite heavy. Now I need to fill my bag. Oh, do you know what we also would take? We've got a mascot. Oh my god, it's your nose. We've got a mascot that's coming with us. Um, any COVID fans that are watching this, you will know the significance to this banana. This is coming travelling with us. It's sitting in the back of the car. And yeah, it's after a little travel buddy. So I'm going to put it on top of the snacks so I don't forget it. Because the snacks are the important part. Now, in my bag, I'm going to put my laptop. My glasses are going to go in there, but I'll probably need them tonight and tomorrow morning. So the case is going to resemble that. Um, vitamins, all that jazz, tablets, 
paracetamol, ibuprofen, migraine tablets, you've got to be prepared. Um, then I'm going to, oh, I've got hay fever tablets in here. I'm going to basically put everything in here. Hairspray because I forgot to put it in the case and I don't want to reopen it. Deodorant. Two pairs of sunglasses because I'm just extra. My perfume. And then anything else that I realise I forget. Like, if I, when I've finished doing this and then I think, oh, I've not put that in, that's going to go in there. So, like, my hairbrush is going to go there in the morning. Um, all my cables are going to go in there in the morning. Um, I need some heat protectant spray in there as well, so I'll grab that in a second. Um, what else? I think that's it, to be honest. So, I've got a, this is obviously my bag, it's a Vans bag. It's a little bit dirty because I took, right, so basically... I went on a hen party in February and we went caving and no one told us we we're going to get wet and we needed waterproof stuff so I didn't bring a waterproof bag and yeah behold it got wet um right so hairspray can go in the bottom and then sorry I'm not even showing you because I'm literally like yeah um right so these can go in the front this can go in the bottom um these can also go in the front then yeah i got plasters as well because you can never be too careful i'm gonna have to leave them out actually put them ones in what's she saying now i told her not to take a hair dryer because i've already put one in um all right paracetamol I broofen. I might have to leave these loose actually. Yeah, I'll put them loose. I'll put my mask up in there because I've literally got one strip left. And then plasters can go in there because they're open. And then, yeah, my vitamins and that when I took them in the morning can go in. So they can go in there, they can go loose. Yeah, I think that's it. And then obviously I'm going to put my coats in separate too. I think we're done, guys. Yay. Yeah, I think I've packed everything, which is an, an absolute miracle because, yeah, I probably forgot some things. Obviously, like, my toothbrush and all that's going to go in separate and, like, all skincare stuff's going to go in separate as well. Um, so, yeah, I think we're done. So that is it. This is my get ready with me packing edition um, for a holiday so yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure you head over to my vlogging channel um because i'm going to be vlogging this trip so it's going to be really exciting and yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up because it'll make me want to do more videos like this and if you're new to my channel hit my subscribe button because yeah so you don't miss all the other videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week with another video Bye.